All right, hello. sounds okay All right, I'm gonna be painting with glue today we're making some faux stained glass windows okay. all right let's see <laughs> Get all my things here. Okay. All right. Let's do this. All right. So I am going to be painting with glue. So the first thing I did was I got a plain white glue bottle, mix it with a ton of, not a ton, like a good amount of black acrylic. And so this will be my lines. And then I'll go in with clear, clear glue plus a little bit of acrylic. And um, it'll be the color parts of the painting. So I uh, designed this, um, what's this thing? This picture in, um, what is that thing? Um, turn that on. I designed it in Procreate and now I am going to paint it. So it should be fun. <laughs> okay. So I'll mix the colors when I get there, but I'm going to, I have one already pre- pre-outlined but I wanted to outline it on stream so I had it um, in video too so that I could have it for later uh, just the process so again I just took a white glue bottle and turned it black and it comes out a little bit and I realize my space is not <laughs> not built for this at all so, so bear with me um, so it comes out pretty fast in the beginning and it does, it gets a little blobby. Um, I did this with my students and they hated the fact that it got blobby. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to go and, and if you are going to do this, so what it is, is I, I drew on Procreate, but you can draw on just paper or print something out. Um, and then I used clear tape just to stick it on. This is plexiglass. You can uh, use regular glass or plexiglass. Uh, I did plexigla plexiglass with my class because I didn't want anyone breaking anything. Um, I probably would, if I were doing this just for myself, go to uh, the store and grab a frame and you do it on actual glass just just cuz <laughs> but um no it's it'll be it's fine on plexiglass so i recommend going in the center first and then moving outwards and i realized i didn't grab something so let me grab something All right, so I'm supposed to use like a, what is it, a mechanical pencil uh, to do your fine lines, but I can't seem to locate one. So I'll have you use one of these toothpicks. Um, and then I realized I don't have my Q-tips with me to clean up any mistakes. So <laughs> see how that goes without any mistakes. Uh, totally fine though. All right, let's see. Ah, uh, what am I doing here? Do, do, do. Sorry, just kind of popping things out. Okay, so here we go. Let's do this. 
So I'm going to go with my center lines here. I'm just doing the best I can to follow these lines. Okay. I did this once before because I have a dry one that I want to actually paint on tonight, but I just wanted to do the process. Um, and it got a lot, a little pretty blobby. <laughs> And you can go in with, see it's already starting to blend together. You can go in, it's not super easy, but maybe I'll just kind of take from this area and then keep that straight. I think that's why well, everything online, not everything, a couple people online use just a mechanical pencil because then it's like a sharp sharp edge, but this actually Q-tip seems to be doing all right. Just kind of grabbing. And then what you do after it dries is you go in with an X-Acto knife and you cut away any of the mistakes. You can cut, just kind of chip off anything that's extra that you don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and get one line on each of these so that I can pull from there. Okay, let's see. Uh, bringing the lines down. Although without I don't know. The Q tip the toothpick method seems to give it that thinner line look, but I feel like it's not getting the same like raised feeling that I been looking for, so I'm just gonna go back with the glue bottle. Doo -doo -doo, boop. And here, there we go. And then I can go in with the toothpick and kind of spread some stuff out. <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna go all in with this with this blue bottle. Why not? All right, down. In my class, I have. Uh, other squeeze bottles because I couldn't afford like 30 Elmer's glue bottles. So we bought a big jug of Elmer's glue and then about 30 like really cheap squeeze bottles. Unfortunately, they are very wide mouthed. So a lot of my students are using the toothpicks because it gives them a a thinner line than what's coming out of these giant squeeze bottles. They're not giant, they're little squeeze bottles, but they're squeezy bottles. Right. So some of the examples I saw online for this were so pretty. Um, I saw a fox, I saw this cool like tiger dragon thing. That was pretty awesome. Um, some of my students are doing like beach scenes or flowers and a lot of, a lot of, um, what is it? Butterflies, <laughs> a lot of butterflies. Uh, I have one student doing a Mickey Mouse, another one. Uh, he couldn't think of anything to do, so I was like, well, Mother's Day is around the corner. Do something for your mom. And then he's like, oh, she likes this Finnish cartoon. So I was like, draw that. It's like this little hippo guy. And it's really cute. Okay. Boop -a -doo. Close the bottom. 
Okay, there we go. I think I'm gonna... When I was having my students design their artwork, I kept trying to remind them, like, keep it pretty simple because it does, it is a little harder um, to keep those nice straight lines. And not a lot of kids listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> so they are struggling. Um, they're having a really hard time, like, keeping things looking nice because they chose super intricate designs. So I was one girl, she's going on for, like, it's taking her, she hasn't gotten to the, the coloring part at all because she's so still trying to deal with the, the outline. That's harder. All right, so now I need to go in with for my little diamonds here, but this is tricky because I don't want the edges to blend. So I think I'm just gonna do a dot at the corners. Oops, well there, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to do a dot at the corners and then go with the toothpick. This is not too bad. It would have blended together anyways. Um, the other thing that was important was starting from the inside and then going out because if you start on the outside, um, you're going to smudge and smear some of your artwork. So just a good idea to go from outside in. Alright, well this one's just this one I'll probably have to cut out with the exacto knife to get it the right shape. Uh, these dry pretty fast. They dry overnight, which is great. Okay. Especially in the classroom setting. You don't want something having to wait a long time for it to, to actually dry to go to the next step. Beautiful. Okay. Now to the outline. <laughs> I'm not able to keep a straight hand here. Pretty wiggly. That's all right. Gives it some character. The other day on TikTok, I saw this uh, lady, and she does fun like arts and crafts stuff that you would normally do with like little kids, but she does it for herself for fun, and I love that so much. Um, I'll probably do some of that as well. Um, it, and she did the black glue bottle, but she used a uh, watercolor paper and then painted instead of with the, the clear glue, she painted just, um, watercolor. And I really liked that. So I might try that since I've got an entire, uh, glue bottle of black glue, might as well find other fun items, fun art projects to do that with. Okay. All right. 
Okay, so I've got my outline done and then it just needs to dry so that we can paint it. So while that's drying, I'm gonna start just kind of mixing the colors I want. And I do have a uh, movie magic <laughs> where I have the uh, pre-done one over there so that I'll swap it out because um, it does not dry that fast. Some, If your lines are thin, thin enough, it does, but I am gonna move this off to the side and start mixing my colors. My workspace is not at all large enough. <laughs> Need to work on that, but it's all good. All right, so mixing up some clear glue and acrylic. I may have poured too much, but that's all right. Uh, you want it to be somewhat clear, but not super clear because you want it to have some like frosted look because stained glass you can see the color and it's still like a frosted look frosted frostedy frosted look to it A fun green color there. Oops. Gotta have the yellow for our stars. Not a lot of glue in here, but I don't need too much because I'm just doing the stars with the yellow. I think what I'm gonna do is like the cool colors through the center here and then the warm colors around the border. Um, so that it has some contrast there. yellow, get some red in there, ooh that's a fun like magenta-y color, it's kind of the color I wanted to get my hair to, <laughs> like a more pinky purple versus a more bluey purple, it's pretty. Uh, some pink. Uh oh, look at that. I just ruined that into satin there. Hello, that Adrian guy. Welcome. basic colors that I was thinking. Here's a gold. So again, this is just clear glue mixed with acrylic paint. Um, when you paint with this, it feels a lot like them. If you ever get a sun catcher kit with the kids, like those little little buckets of paint um it's probably this it's probably just glue and paint mixed together because it's always a weird consistency and sticky when you're trying to clean it all right so some movie magic here i'm going to move this one out of the way let that dry over there and bring in the pre-done one. Um, 
My hair is all over the place, so I'm going to move that out. Um, so it's just on plexiglass. It's all dried, so you can kind of see through it, which is cool. So this is the, like, nicer side because it's not all lumpy. But you can see, like, areas that are a problem, and you can kind of chip it off because it's just paint and glue. I don't have my exacto knife on me, but it's pretty easy to kind of scrape off as well. Okay, so now I'm going to just start painting with glue. And I think I want to stick with that same idea of going in out to out because you don't want to start painting on the outside and then smudge or sorry start painting on the outside and then try to work on the inside and smudge everything away so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the the yellow since it's right there and easier to use oops I'm like I'm already making a mess I need to do something real quick. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. My extensions. Let's see. I wonder if I can change. settings okay hmm I think I need to play with that I'm gonna turn it off for just a little bit I like having the captions but I think I'm going to Turn it off for a minute because it kind of covers the artwork, and that's no fun. Um, and it's not going away. There we go. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying, trying different things to see what works, what's useful, what's not. And I think having ah. Having the captions, like, taking over the whole screen is probably not, not a good thing to do. I don't even know if they show up on everybody's screen or just mine. So we're just going to turn it off for a little bit until I figure that out. You don't see captions? Okay. So then who knows? I don't know if I set it up wrong. Um, maybe it's just the uh, option to do it. I turned it off because I don't think it was working. And when I look at like my stream preview, it like covers the entire artwork. So I will play with that a little bit more and see. But I do like the idea of having captions on because I, you have to toggle them on. Okay, so if I turn, hold on. But I don't want it to take over the whole stream. Let me, um. Let me turn it back on and then see if I can change the size of it. All right, um, captions, settings. Uh oh, what happened? Hmm. Stream codes. So get started. Whoa. Okay, so if I start the captions and then I go to my settings, let's see. If I toggle them on. 
over here. Show. Is it working? Save. I don't know if it's working anymore. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. You can even use this di the dyslexia font on there, which I think is pretty cool. I don't think it's working now. <laughs> Maybe I gotta go back to that other page. Captions, dashboard. Click to start captions. Hmm, I don't know. No, it's still like gigantic on the screen now. So I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. Visible, easily provide closed captioning for your viewers. All you have to do is install the extension, did that, click on, and it's visible. Yeah. Huh, they're funny though, Hannah, Hannah. Um, we got finished text. That's interesting. There's a lot of settings that you can put on yourself. Oh, you can even move it. Okay. So the viewer themselves can change their interactions with the captions. I don't think it's on the YouTube channel I think it's only on um, I think it's only on Twitch so I might need to find some other thing for YouTube that can get closed captions on there although I feel like YouTube sometimes has the option but maybe the the viewer has to put it on so who knows all right so now I've got my yellow painted down I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Um, okay. Sorry. My workstation is not ideal. So, clean off my brush so I can get my next color. I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to go with like a blend of these two colors. Can you see that? Uh, for my gems here. Probably start with a lighter one. So this will dry pretty light. Um, the nice thing is being on the back, you don't have to be super um, detailed inside the black lines because when you flip it over, you're not gonna see, you're not gonna see it. So that helps because working with glue isn't, really necessarily the same as working with a regular paint. It's a little thicker. All right, so now I got a base layer of this light blue. I'm gonna go in with the dark blue, kind of blend it together. Give it some some visual interest here.
Ooh, that might be too much blue. Okay. I wonder if I should mix up the gemstones, do like a different combo color, maybe like a purpley color on another one. Okay, let's just see. I'm gonna take a look from underneath. Let me just see. I don't wanna like mess with it. Mm. But it definitely needs something in there. Like a little bit more of this light blue in the center here. And what I'll need to do too is go back in with like a cute uh, toothpick and pop some of the bubbles so they don't um, get all weird and ruin things. Sometimes bubbles will just ruin the, the look of the piece. So I'm gonna do that pretty thick. Oh, and there I go dropping it. Lost my trash can. All right. So that's looking a little, a little better. I'm gonna lift it up again and just to check. Make sure the blending looks how I want it to. Mm -hmm. All right, let's lift this up and check it out. Okay, it's not too bad. Can't really, I'm not gonna flip it because that'll just drip glue everywhere, but it's not looking too bad. So I think I'm gonna switch up the colors and go with like purple and this, or maybe blue and purple. Try that, try a blue and purple one. Okay. Ew. The glue's already starting to like set because I didn't put a ton of glue in here. So it's I'm gonna go on the edges here with the purple. Yeah. Oh, I like the purple. It's like a nice amethyst. I might add a little of the blue in there. Maybe the darker blue. I like the actual dark, darker blue. one. Oop. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm going to 
to think what color I want the moon to be. Do I want to make it white? I didn't even think about the moon. That might be kind of cool. So like on a, and then do a black. Did I bring enough cups? <laughs> hmm. Oh, maybe like just a dark blue. Ooh, or this purple blue combo. Ooh, okay. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I think I know what I'm gonna do. Like this galaxy looking combo in the background. Little swirls of everything. I want I mixed green but I don't know do I want to make a green maybe a green and I can blend it with the blue purple and blue turned out really cool I like that a lot okay okay let's see here All right, so that looks pretty cool. Do I want to do green? I don't know, maybe. Hmm, it's hard. <laughs> um, so if those of you who are just hanging out, um, I'm using Elmer's clear glue um, and some acrylic paint and mixing it up. And I'm working on a plexiglass surface. And um, <laughs> my hair is everywhere. I'm working on a plexiglass surface so that um, when you lift it up, it can be either like a fake stained glass to put in the window. You can put lights behind it. Um, if I do plexiglass with my class because I don't want any of my students breaking the glass, but you can definitely go to the store and buy like a frame and then just paint on the on the frame and so it's and then the black lines are just with um, white glue mixed with black acrylic paint and then squeezed out and drawn out so it's a pretty simple activity and it's kind of fun painting with glue so I'm gonna go in with this green and make it a little little emeraldy Uh oh, <laughs> I can see my hair. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. All right. Do, do, do. Hi, Nat Cat. Welcome in. Oh, my goodness. So restream, where does it, does it say restream somewhere? Oh no. Um, yes, with the, the goth glue, <laughs> yes. So um, I saw a lady do uh, with watercolor. So she did the black glue and then she did um, on watercolor paper and that was super awesome. She actually did a um, picture of her her uh what's it called her dog and then painted it all funky colors so that was pretty cool so restream is does it say restream somewhere i don't even know to, oh yes that's funny i thought i fixed that <laughs> i need to go fix that um Oh gosh, yeah. So I forgot, you have to open all sorts of things when you stream. Um, Restream, Adrian and I are trying it out. It's Since I'm not a Twitch affiliate, I can stream on multiple, um, did you see the dog one? Yeah, so um, 
you can stream on multiple platforms. So I'm currently also streaming on YouTube. Not that everyone's watching over there, but it's there. So if people are like, I don't want to go on Twitch, I, I want to go on YouTube, that's there. Um, yeah, the dog one. Just, I love that lady so much on TikTok. Like, she makes the coolest things. And, like, I love that her her platform is like, hey, like, adults can do fun arts and crafts too and I feel like that's my whole like thing like I want I want that <laughs> that's what I want I want to do that I want to just play and create art and and just have fun and try different things so I just gotta remember to go and fix that that restream <laughs> my tester when I totally forgot I did that. Um, huh. Do I have a different green? Oh my gosh. I really, really need a better, better setup. Ooh, if I do this green, then. <laughs> I only brought so many cups with me. <laughs> so maybe I'll. Okay. I'm just going to go for it. You can make black on anything. Ooh, but I gotta do white. Hmm. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Okay, so just a tiny bit of acrylic and some clear glue. And then you mix it up. got like oh, I don't know if I like that I don't think I like that I need to go back to the other one I'll just do it up here yeah I don't like that at all <laughs> that is ugly okay um I got the idea from um Jillian's art teacher because she did it she came home and did this project or she didn't do it at home, but she brought home the pro the idea, and then she brought home her product, and I thought it was super cool. So I did it with my kids, my students, so that was fun. Okay, so now it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Okay, so now I can go a little bit, if I do a little bit, and then just blend it with that green. Then it's not so ugly. Okay. Okay, there we go. Not so ugly. Gives it a different color, I guess. Okay. But yeah, this color alone, not great. But mixed, it's a little interesting. Okay. not too bad. I actually, that combo didn't turn out as bad as it was <laughs> at first. So that's good. Um, but I might have to go and find something else to mix because I wanted to do white. Ooh, I bet I could put white with this one. That, that could actually work. Okay. So let's Hmm, where do I want to go from here? Maybe this one 
and this one. Let's try, let's try that one out. Okay. So now I've been, I've been playing Stardew Valley. I've been staying up late and not actually going to bed, which I should be going to bed, but <laughs> I got back into it and I've just been obsessed with it. Um, but I've gotten to a point where it's like, hmm, wait, <laughs> I want to try. I think I told you about the, it's like the CJ cheats where like you can basically go into creative mode, like in the Sims or in. Minecraft or all of those like I kind of want to make a new farm now and just play with those cheats and see if um, I can do anything fun with them like try out different I don't know different like skill levels right so I think you can like bump up your skills your farming and all that right away and then just full on become a you know, artisan good maker or um, create an entire you know house full of kegs <laughs> um, just to see see what see what it would be like right to like just focus on one thing. I think you were saying you were going to work on making yours like a wine, a winery kind of thing where you're just producing wine the whole time. Um, the cool thing with the like uh, automate mod is like you just stick a chest next to things and then you can just automate the whole process, which I love. Then you have more time to do all the other fun stuff. Okay. Oh, I like that one a lot. That one's cool. I'm going to lift it up again just to double check underneath. I'm a little worried because Smudge is down below me and he likes to jump up here. And that would just kind of be devastating, I think. <laughs> okay. Look at that color. I like that one a lot. And the green one actually didn't turn out so bad. It was ugly at first, but I, I'm okay with it now. Um, I do notice some bubbles, so I'm going to go in there and, and try to pop those. I think you're supposed to, to like, heat. Add heat or something, maybe. I don't know. Oh, here he comes. Hold up. Maybe. Come here, Smudge. Oh my gosh, here he is. Maybe if I put him on my lap, he won't go up there. Say hi. Say hi to everyone. All right. Okay, let's see if I can do this with him on my lap. He can be a butthead sometimes. Okay. Now... What in the world did I do? A paintbrush. Okay. All right, where are we going from here? Maybe a little bit of the green and the purple. We'll try that. Why not? Why not? Let's throw up the green. Okay. Oh, where's he going? Where is he going? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> now, I don't know how you do it with two of them. <laughs> Just 
In your space. In your space. The other night he like hopped up and just landed flat on the keyboard. Oh, 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 oh. Scary cat, scary cat. <laughs> oh shoot, <laughs> scrapping my legs. All right, Adrian took him. <laughs> but yeah, he like landed straight onto the keyboard and that, that sucked. <laughs> that sucked a lot. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember what I was doing, but it was just like, oh, uh, why, why? And I don't have a lot of space on my desk for him to like sit around. They just lay, <laughs> yeah, they just lay there and don't give a fuck, like really, they just are like, I'm gonna sit here and too bad for you, <laughs> hope you don't mind. <laughs> um, it, yeah. It's like, what if I gave him his own keyboard? Would he lay on that and leave mine ar alone? Or would he only lay on mine because that's where my hands are and that's where my attention is? So that's where he wants to be. But the worst is when he starts going behind the computer monitor and starts like pushing on things. That's frustrating. Hmm. I don't know if this was a good combo, but something different. Give them all a different look. The hands. <laughs> they just want whatever our hands are doing. They want to be there. I saw someone who made a cardboard laptop with a scratch pad as a keyboard. Oh, that's a really good idea. I wonder if you would actually use it. <laughs> That'd be really cute though. I actually have an extra like cardboard, what is it? Corrugated? one sitting around somewhere oops that went the wrong place I'm gonna clean that up Get that out of there. I don't think my cats would play with that instead of laying. <laughs> that is true. They, it's because you're not touching it. So <laughs> it's a cute photo op, but probably not gonna solve any cat problems. Um, oh my gosh. Now, I think I sent you a TikTok recently. It was like if aliens were describing cats or describing cats to an alien. I don't remember, but I just that was really funny. Just talking about <laughs> all the quirky things that our cats do. It's like the, well, I know you have a litter robot, but like for us, it's the, the immediately after you clean the litter box, they are smudges right there in there making it not clean again <laughs> cool. all 
right. That looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check that out from underneath. Ooh, I like that one. I like the purple and green one. That one turned out really well. Just, and I'll come in close, but you can see it's like swirled a little bit together on all of them. Pretty cool. Okay, so now I attempt to make the moon. So I think I'm gonna go with this and add some white to it. Give it a different, like a lighter. So accurate, I know, right? Um, we're trying to like look around our house and see if we can move Smudge's litter box because I think I need a new setup for crafty stuff because this <laughs> this space is not meant for um, doing crafts at all. Um, but I don't know what to do with his litter box. It's just smells and it's there in the way and I don't know that I want to be crafting around cat poop but <laughs> might be my only option right now because I really don't know where to put it uh, one of our options is our downstairs bathroom we can put the box inside the um, the shower because nobody uses that but then we have to leave the door open all the time, and I don't know if we have guests over and whatnot, but it's kind of gross. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and attempt to do the moon here. I don't know if I love this. It might be too painty and not enough glue. It's pretty thick. I think I'm going to wipe it off and try something else. That's too thick. I think I need more, um, more clear glue. That is not what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> there we go. Okay, fresh start, yay. Okay, try that again. <laughs> Add, ooh, ooh, that like exploded. Gross. Okay. Oh gosh. I don't know what happened, but this glue bottle decided it was going to get everywhere. Okay. Alright, there we go. Ooh. What's interesting is in my class, like you would think doing glue painting, like 
having glue like constantly on your hands would get kids to like paint their hands and let it dry and peel off like we did as kids but they don't i have not seen a single kid put glue on their hands to peel it off so i don't know how they missed that Let's see if I paint this, if it'll be a little bit less like solid. Uh, still pretty solid. Let's, maybe it's just too white. Maybe that's the problem. Hmm. Do, do, do. All right. All right, let's just let's lift it up and see what happens. So it's kind of cool, but I think it's too white. I think I need to add like a tiny bit of the light blue again. Just um, bring it back. Okay. Bring it back to the cool colors. Maybe. It's a little better. Just, I don't know. It does seem really still really thick and white. But, okay, that's a little bit nicer. It's still super thick. I don't know what I did. And I know I poured the clear glue and not the white glue, so. so thick. <sighs> okay, let's see. Boo, 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 boo. Uh, it's kind of fun coming home and then doing the projects that I do at school with my students because I don't actually get to do the projects when I'm at school because I just have to show them like the basics and then we move on and I never really actually get to like spend the time to make it what I want unless I'm ahead of time and actually like able to plan <laughs> for the project and then I'll have time to do whatever it is for an example but lately it's been flying by the seat of my pants on a regular basis um, I have five different subjects no four different subjects I teach art but I but I have two art classes so like a, a year long and then a trimester and then I have video production and and yearbook that's fun Keeps me, keeps me, oh, and then PE, but I don't plan PE, which is nice, but it's just a lot of work. <laughs> it's just a lot of work to come up with, with a new project for all the different classes, you know, because most teachers in middle school are like one, one subject, so they just get to plan for one, you know. Uh, today I'm going to teach fractions and then you just teach fractions in all your classes and you don't have to think about the extra. Oh no, I have a piece of hair. I have a piece of hair. Can't take it out. Oh my gosh. My hair is seriously everywhere. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. 
I like the lighter blue a little better than just straight white, so that's nice. What happened? I don't know. What happened? Did I freeze? Am I buffering? I don't even know. I don't think I'm buffering, but I might be. Everything seems to be working okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we go. Okay. Nat Cat, am I still there for you? I know you said what happened, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. Okay. <laughs> did I did I start buffering? Did I go away? Oh no. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. No, maybe I said it. I don't even know. I don't know what I said. I don't know what I said. I don't know what I said, <laughs> but it's all good. Um, there, all right. I painted the moon. Getting there. Okay. I just realized I've got a little extra like spot there that I need to. Clean up. Let's see. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Um, tomorrow is Adrian and my anniversary. <laughs> Thanks for the hug. Um, yeah, so tomorrow's our anniversary. It's been 17 years. It's a long time. We're going to go out to dinner, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> Not doing anything big this year since we just went to Hawaii. A long time. <laughs> it's a long time. And then Adrian and I were, he was saying, like, uh, it seems weird, like, it seems so long. And then we remember that, you know, Jillian is 13, almost 14 this year. And then it's like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> we're getting older. Time is passing by.
next year, um, the little one, Alice, she starts kindergarten, and that's going to be crazy. Because then we will have elementary, middle school, and high school. Yeah, so Jillian's going to high school next year, and that'll be, that'll be interesting. And what's crazy is, like, high school's only four years. Like, that's not, that's not a long time before she's, like, an adult <laughs> or classified as a legal adult, right? Um, I don't know. It's kind of scary. But, yeah, so we'll be in all three. And then when Jillian, if she goes off to college, we'll have all four because by then Claire will move up to the middle school and that'll be that's gonna be when it's crazy when it's oh yeah you know I've got a elementary school kid and a college kid <laughs> so weird but okay I'm getting to the outside and I want to do it kind of like this one but a little bit of mix with all the colors I think so I'm just gonna start dabbing Dabbing some colors down. Ooh, it's getting gooey already. Ew. Getting gooey. All right. So I'm going to just kind of plop. Plop colors down. Around. If we can get a galaxy style look out here. And actually it'd be kind of cool with the bubbles if the bubbles show up out here because then it'll give it like a star kind of appearance. Alright, so that will go in. Let's go in with this guy. The galaxy dots here. Boop. I might even go in with whoops. Left some clear on the brush and just blend it all together. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Go with this green. And now, the purple. Let's get some more clear. Please. All right, blend that up. All right. Woo. So I finished the shoes. Um, I didn't get to finish them on stream because I wasn't feeling great. I actually ended up going right after, like I shut off stream and then I went and laid down and went to sleep. Like I was not feeling good. I think it's, this room is really hot. Um, and I'm like in this closed space with all my monitors and you know, my desk space is not huge. So, and then the, the heat from the like extra lights. So that just kind of like killed me. And so I ended up just going to sleep. So I'm, I'm really looking into around the house. Like what, what can I do to make it so that I can actually do the things I want to do? So tonight I actually have a fan. So I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but tonight I have a fan on just to like, make sure that I don't overheat. Um, I realize I haven't 
had any water, so I'm gonna take a hydrate break. Do that. Okay, I'm liking the splattery look here. I might go in with a little bit more purple because I really do like that purpley look, especially for the background there. Okay, so now uh, I might plop in some. Ooh, that this glue bottle does not like staying clean. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze some clear to kind of blend everything together. Just in case it started to dry, I can use the clear to blend everything. I realized I didn't put any color in here, so let's plop some of this blue in there. And some of this purple. Can't hear the fan. That's good. Okay, that's good. I was worried. I did do a test run and I recorded a little bit. Um, and then I could kind of hear the fan in the recording. But it's like white noise kind of thing where it's not anything terrible. So I'm glad you can't hear it. It's not noticeable. Because I definitely needed it. All right, now I'm gonna blend it. Let's see if it works the way I want it to. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna keep going in with this dark purple because that's, gives it that galaxy feel feel a little better with this blue yeah okay. all right I don't know if the green added any value to the galaxy, <laughs> but it gives it a little bit something extra, I guess. The hard thing is this glue doesn't dry fast, but it dries fast. Like it's not, it's not like dry, but it's not super fluid anymore. So I gotta work a little bit, a little bit faster here. Blending all my glue colors together. <laughs> Get this green mixed out of there. All right. Uh, and then, yeah, I need to work on editing for my shoe video, um, and then put that up on that on YouTube. I don't know. I need to figure out content a little better like ahead of time because it's like what do I want to do right with this video? So what am I how how am I going to video this if 
I'm going to do something with it later. Um, the tricky thing, so like I have this overlay with OBS and it's got, you know, my face and then what I'm doing. But like, is that the type of video I want to put up on YouTube? I don't know. Is it more of a tutorial on how to do it? Um, then I don't know if my face should be so big over here. So I kind of got to put the one together and then see how it kind of looks. And then I can kind of gauge how I want to create my content moving forward. So I think that's my plan is I just want to start building things to share as far as like videos and TikTok and and all that so that then if somebody wants to support me they can um then go and buy my artwork <laughs> um and then I was thinking of like Patreon like do I set up a Patreon account I mean I have one um I set it up a couple years ago um but like I never knew what would what would I offer my Patreon followers so, and then I was kind of thinking it'd be cool to offer, like, I don't know, my coloring pages or something that I sell, but, um, and maybe, like, if I'm producing more sellable items then maybe I, part of the Patreon, like, levels would be, you know, getting one item a month for free kind of thing. Well, it's already paid for, but, <laughs> but, I don't know, ideas, I have a lot going through my head. Uh, I just wish I had a little more time to explore all those options. I, um... Uh, one of my school people she is actually taking a leave of absence next year to like pursue her 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 art stuff and she's doing really well she actually got a like tea towel collab which is pretty cool and but she has a little bit more time to devote to the extra stuff um, she doesn't have any kids, and so, I don't know, when we didn't have kids, we had a little bit, a little bit of extra free time. We don't know what we did with that free time, though, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes we wonder, like, what did we do? What were we doing when we didn't have all these extra things that we had to worry about? Um, and I don't even remember. I know I read. I read books like actual reading like now I can do audiobooks but not like actual physical book reading all right that looks pretty cool I love it um I kind of wish I had did something different here so it wasn't so like right there like if I had done a little bit more of the light blue in here I might even like go in and change that a little bit can I yeah, I'll change a little bit on the other side we'll see let's see let's try it out so I'm gonna make it a little bit bluer just so it's not so close to the background although you know it's already like kind of dry on the other side so this won't change too much but maybe it'll change it just enough to make it something different from the front
Okay. I'm gonna pick it up and see. All right, let's see. I lift it up and I bring it over here. Uh, it helped a little bit. Maybe if I put a little bit more purple. Purple on the bottom. That'll help a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Oh goodness, what am I doing? Just wanna see. So what's cool is in with Restream in OBS, it like has the the chat. Um, and it actually has your, um, well, I guess it does it in Twitch too, but it's got your little profile pictures, but they're bigger. So it oh, looks kind of nice. <laughs> it's kind of nice to see. Um, yeah, no. So in, in the Twitch chat, it doesn't have your, your profile pictures. So only in, so in the restream, like when you say something, it'll have your profile picture, which is cool. And then it tells you where you're chatting from. So like if someone were t to go chat in YouTube, I think it would have the little YouTube symbol and probably your profile picture from YouTube maybe. All right, so a little bit more. Purple over here. I really like the way that this turned out though. I think it turned out really cool. All right. So now I do the border. I originally had planned to do like, um, a pink, pink and ooh, a pink and gold border but now I'm not sure should I keep it all like one color hmm decisions you know what I'm gonna go for it with what I originally had planned and if it looks terrible <laughs> Then I wipe it off and try it again. Okay, so let's start with this gold color. Hmm. I wonder if I should have made the, the stars this gold color. All right, and for the sake of symmetry, I do the same on this side. when I did the lines I didn't pay attention and there it's an even number not an odd number S uh, little squares here so I can't really do what I thought I was gonna do so I need to s think what I'm gonna do here all right hmm Cause up here I did it right where I have an odd number. So like my center up here can definitely be this gold. Do, 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 do. Okay, 
And down here can be the gold. Ooh, that's a little chunky. Ew! Chunky, chunky. Okay, gross. It's dry. <laughs> it's drying on me. Alright. It's becoming like snotty, like. Gross. Gross. Okay. Oh, man. I guess I guess on the side I will do continue with the gold and just make it more of an every other on the the edges. Mm. Oh, I know what I can do. Okay. I think I've got it. What I'm going to do. I'm going to do an every other. So here. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, gosh. Look at just already not doing what I should have done top down okay Okay, there we go. Let's go every other on this one. to see if I can salvage this like if I can chunk something because up here it would have to be here and here okay and then it would be here and here but I can't do that so I think gonna do something hold up okay I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do half this gold and then I'm going to throw in an extra line it's not gonna be perfectly even but at least the colors will be like correct because it's kind of killing me that I can't get the colors in there correctly okay so then I'm gonna go in with the with my black glue okay. oh wait I better do that at the end because I need to make sure I have my color in so I think I'm gonna go let me finish let me finish the gold because if I start doing the black, then I'm going to smear into the color. And that would not be fun.
it gets tricky because I don't have the space. I'm working around equipment here. Can't even see what I'm doing because I'm off screen because I have to be right here. Okay. And two more at the bottom. Alright, we're getting close to being done. Alright. Now I'm going to go in with the pink. With a little blending with the purple. Or maybe... Maybe I'll stick with the purple still, but blend it with that. Hmm, I don't know yet. <laughs> All right, let's try. Let's try this. Blue hair. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try this pink and then to blend it with. Have a little blend with this. Uh oh, that is that is drying up. Oh no, it's all snotty. Gross. Okay. Blend it with this like magenta y purple color. Mm. I don't know. Do I like that? Not really. It's okay. It's okay. I think... I think that pink is just too pink. So let's clean that up. Alright, I'm going to go in with the magenta because I like that color and maybe some purple. So let's throw some color, clear glue in there, mix it up, give it some life again, make it not so snotty. Okay. Still kind of snotty though. All right, so I'm gonna do this pinky magenta. And then we're gonna go in with the purple. Like, yeah, more opaque version of the purple. And blend those up. Okay. Maybe not. Because then maybe it's too close to the... The galaxy look? I don't know. It's kind of cool. But no, I think the purple is too purpley to go with.
And we're gonna just stick with the magenta. The pink is awful. The purple blends in with the background. So we're gonna go with just magenta. All right, there we go. Oh, top, I should go back to the top. Okay, mm, it's all right. Oh shoot, oh no, did a bad thing. Oh, can I save it? Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> the background wasn't super dry, so I was able to save it. Okay. Whew. Scary. If I had more space, I would probably move the whole piece around, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not risking it. So much glue on me. <laughs> oh, I know. There's glue everywhere. It's great. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing some cleanup tomorrow for sure. I'm finding glue, glue splotches everywhere. At least they're colored, so it's like easier to see. <laughs> Would it fit on a Lazy Susan? Ooh, no. I don't think the Lazy Susan would have fit in here. And then also, um, then the artwork would hang off the Lazy Susan because I think the one we have is only like 8 inches or 10 inches in diameter. It would hang off the edge and then it would be all weird. Like if I barely touch the edge and it would just fly off and smack me in the face or something. Okay, here's where it gets tricky because I don't I want to have the black line. If you want your creative space at home, I think a challenge with the living room is you don't have a door. Yes, that is going to be a huge challenge because we have four children. <laughs> and if I'm going to be streaming more during the summer and they're going to be home, that will be a giant um, hit problem. But 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to make this space work. Like I can try to bring in a desk like over there and maybe have a separate like webcam so that it's not like attached to the computer right, as it is right now. And then um, to have a little bit more workspace. Um, but then if I ever want to do like the sewing machine, that takes up a lot of space too. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I think I'm done. I don't think I like the border though. It looks very like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> very Gryffindor. Very Gryffindor, and I don't know that I like it. Hmm. I don't know how to fix it, though. I think it might be, though. I wonder if I went in with green. If I went in with green, everything's probably already dry, though. I go on top of the gold with green. Let's try that. Ew, it's snotty. Gross. All right, let's just try it. I can always peel it off and redo later. Might be peeling off the border and try and doing it over. <laughs> I don't love it. Don't love it. And I don't even know what it looks like underneath because I don't want to risk moving the whole piece. gonna go for it and if we gotta peel it off tomorrow we peel it off tomorrow it's all good might even be fun <laughs> like I was saying earlier you know putting glue on your hands and peeling it off was a lot of fun as a kid so maybe peeling it off here might be just as much fun we'll see we'll see okay I like the green a little bit better um, much better than the yellow. The yellow was just too, too yellow, too Gryffindor. Although, I don't know. <laughs> Again, I'm not seeing the other side, so I will probably be peeling off. Probably. Okay. Boop. Okay, we got to the part of the, I'll go fast since it's not on camera. Okay, right here, do, do, do. Uh oh, I went off, uh, I have green on green glue everywhere. Sucky <laughs> Gryffindor. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't remember. I took the, the Harry Potter like sorting I don't remember what I get. I think it like bounces between Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. Like I think I'm in between with a slight bit of Ravenclaw in there. I think Olivia got Slytherin. <laughs> I can't remember, but I'm I'm I feel like she did. It's highly possible too.
We should all take that test again. Actually, so Claire wants a Harry Potter birthday. And um, a coworker of mine for his girlfriend's son did like a Harry Potter birthday. And they had this lady come and she comes and she does the sorting and she gives them all wands. I don't know. That might be kind of fun. Probably expensive. Probably expensive. Is the sorting hat just a Meyer Briggs test? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Um, especially like online because it's asking you like. I don't know. I can't even remember what questions it asked to be honest. I just remember. It is basically just a personality test. Oh, gooey. Gooey, gooey. You a Chad Gryffindor? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's funny. A lot of teachers that I know of who take the the Harry Potter like sorting and Pottermore like are all um Hufflepuffs <laughs> or most of them are let's see have no regard for any anyone else's well-being Slytherin <laughs> oh so true I think Hufflepuff would be, does everyone walk all over you? Hufflepuff. Someone I saw online was like, why can't we have like a mix? Why are there only four um, houses? She's like, I'm a, she, she said she was a, a Huffleclaw? No. Huffle, Huffledore, she said. She was like a mix between uh, Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. And then she drew. Must have been an Instagram person I follow then. Um, but she drew like a smash, a mashup of the two characters. Um, of the, the Gryffindor's Griffin. Right? It's a Griffin or a Lion. I don't know. Whatever they're. Must be a griffin. And then the Hufflepuff badger, honey badger. That was quite weird. A weird drawing, but that's her thing, is she does like mashup drawings, which is pretty cool. Okay. Down to my last two. I think that looks a little better. It's not great. Again, I might even like exacto blade off all the black lines <laughs> to start from scratch because I'm just not enjoying the border. Like my insides was so good. I love it so much. And then the border is just like meh. Try again. I guess that's the beauty of this this uh, glue painting is it, it does scratch off. Oh, but it's on my it's on my mat, which is a bummer.
Okay, I am done. Um, there are a lot of bubbles. <laughs> there are a lot of bubbles, but I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. I can't really lift it. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to lift this. Okay, let me see. Oh yeah, it's ugly. That's ugly. Okay, so I'm totally gonna let this dry and then cut off all of the edges because that is not pretty. It's all good. It's all good. I love the center. The center looks super pretty in the light. Um, but edges, not so much. Not so much at all. I kind of just want to scrapey, scrapey. Scrapey, scrapey it all off, but it's okay. I'm going to call it a night. Um... Thank you to Nat Cat and Adrian for chatting with me. Thanks to those of you who are in the room lurking. Um, it's great to have you here. I am going to figure out who I'm going to raid out to. Let's see. Ew. Again, I'm going to clean up this workspace. Okay. Let me see. Um felting so um i'm gonna go to carbon chic who looks like she's doing something with felt so i'm going to raid on out Doo -doo -doo. Bye. Thank you for being here. to our home.